Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the continuation of Big Country's Let's Play of The Walking Dead Telltale Games. This will be episode four. I'm hoping I can get my audio a little better this time. It seems like uh, my audio sync is a little a little off in some parts. I, th I don't know if it's got something to do with the way I'm recording. I record my audio in Audition or Adobe Audition and then I got to overlap it in Vegas with... Uh, with uh, the video file and for some reason it starts off okay but then somewhere down the line it kind of fades off or gets unsynced I don't know so hopefully just bear with it and we should be good so we're going to continue our let's play uh, right here so here we go <clears throat> I'll tell you what though, I haven't played in a couple days uh, when I downloaded it the first day I played three episodes and uh I haven't played it since. I haven't had the chance, and I um, had a pretty decent day at work today to get to get me off early. So I'm gonna do a few more tonight, and then go to bed. So let's see. Well, this is as far as we're going, and it's far enough. Excuse me. <clears throat> Look. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck. this girl and dude I'm glad you showed up <laughs> yeah double check the, the padlock see him shake it <laughs> like the zombie is gonna go in there and we turn can't it take risks like this and we can't just let people die either when I say that door stays shut no matter what I fucking mean it we don't know who these people are it could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let him right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God <laughs> damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. That's Holy right. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitch. Told you. I'm picking the, the rogue. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, <laughs> dig a hole. cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad. It's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You kick need his to ass. Calm down. Kick his we ass. Kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody. Can't even better remember anything. my loyalty. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They Ooh, will find get us, <laughs> and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down or else. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? 
You and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does... Then I'll kill him myself. First thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit... It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! I'm sorry, Kenny. Let him know. Stop him. You're right. Let him know. Knock this guy out. Knock him out, Kenny. Jesus. Oh, man. Come on, dude. Let me get a fight. Let me let me hit his ass. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not Clementine. Oh, come on, you clumsy little fucker. He has fell more times. Get to her. Get to her. Get to her. Good girl. Good shot. Guys. I tried to save her. Everybody down. Stay quiet. I hit the damn button. What do you mean Clementine will remember I didn't save her? I hit the damn button like I told me to. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, oh. Dad! Oh. 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 What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Why the hell can't you do it? We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. Alright, I'll be a nice guy. We need you did save Clementine. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If all you're right. gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Ah, I'm Larry. On him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now boss, get him that's those right, pills. crazy, stupid little bitch. All right, where do I go? Where? That's the bathroom. I guess the pharmacy. Oh, the pharmacy's over here. Uh, what's that? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Okay. How do I get in here? The pills are in there. What's this? There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. Okay, then how the hell do I get in there? What's that? What did you what did you just pick up, dude? How do I get in there then? If I can't get in there from out there. What's this? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Uh, 
Oh, come on. What are you picking up? Oh, you're just picking up random shit. Hello. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Alright, let's see what this thing is up here. Where is Clementine? I need to feed her. The IT guy. <laughs> the IT, IT guy. Alright, I'll talk to Doug here in a minute. Where's Clementine? There she is. Here you go. The it's feeder. Much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Yes, I took care of Clementine. Okay. Hey there. Hi. Let's talk for a minute. Any work from Glenn? Can I get you anything? I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Stay. I did. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Okay. We should get to know. It. Nah. We'll sit down. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're gonna do here. We gotta look around. God dang it! Don't worry about Glenn here in a little bit. What's this? This right here. What is that? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Feels like years. I don't need to talk to you. I need to talk to this guy right here. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> yeah, so I don't see the saddle yet. <laughs> no, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Not now. Not right now. All right. Let me know if you want to. Maybe I, maybe I won't have to go outside here in a second. Let me see. I'm just going to look around for things. I got to find a, a way back in the back there. Find some more food. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Wow. Wow. What's all this stuff? Yes, what's we this? Can't let anything happened to Ducky. Newspaper clippings. Obituaries, it looks like. I don't remember them very well. Uh, whoever them are. Alright. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who <laughs> didn't get punched in the mouth. <laughs> anyway, we, Cat and I. Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? Well, the family's <laughs> dead, so... That's awful, Lee. <laughs> yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you it have does. no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Yeah, well. What's the... Are you guys, you guys are, all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Doug? We've all been through a lot. Okay, okay. I gotta quit Lee, talking to these people. You got a second? Sure. Come on, dude. We gotta get some medicine. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill Charles. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. You gotta get some medicine. I think I might have to go talk to Doug to get outside, because they said I couldn't get it from the inside of the gate. Maybe around the back door or something, perhaps. Is there more food? That's the energy bar for my girl. Okay. 
I'll go back and feed her here in a minute, but let's go in here. Alive inside, huh? Ooh, what's gonna happen? I know we're like 15 minutes into it now, guys, but a lot of cinematics and story on this game, or this episode. I'm getting tingly in my arms. I can't, I can't think about them in here. Let me, let me give you some energy bar. No, no, no. not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> I want to get back in there. That's what I got to do. I need to get back in there, damn it. Oops. Let's see. This door leads to the back alley. There we go. First aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Nothing you need in here. Ah. Uh, let's talk to Clementine. Everything seem okay to you? You heard from Glenn? Have let's you ask from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everything seem okay? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. I was scared. Yeah, I was far away. That lady saved me. I'm glad she did. Maybe stay closer next time, so you're not so far away. I will, Clem. I'm gonna try. Good. I will, Clem. I will, Clem. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alright, is there anything else in here? What's this? She just made me feel bad. She real <laughs> right now. I feel freaking bad because I wasn't close What's enough that? to save her. Wow. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. <laughs> Plus, he knew how to make it look cool, like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Good girl. She's a she's a trooper, bud. I'll tell you that right now. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. Wow, they are. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, really? Um, You're a teacher? Social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> All right, can we get out the door now? Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Uh, I hope not. It's just complicated because they're dead. I won't blame them. I wouldn't blame them. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. The love but doesn't solve everything. I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? 
Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. All right, let's get it done. Maybe we can go around. The See, this guy knows his way. Ooh. Ooh. Okay? I hurt my finger. I see that. A little. She's gushing the blood. You see that finger spread open? Advantage. First aid kit right over here. See, I'm a good medic. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's Don't hurt her, do buddy. Don't it. hurt her, buddy. Come on, now help her. Does it hurt when I do this? Don't, little, don't squeeze the hell out of it. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. I didn't I mean to squeeze it. Let's just say, are you sure? <laughs> I was being a little mean ass. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so what's... Oh, it's in that thing right there. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track they'll us find back. us. Yeah, they'll find they'll us. Work. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? All right, I gotta, I gotta let's see what is this? It's locked. It's locked. We need Unlocked. To track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. All right. Well, now what? Uh. Come on. Oh. I said I don't want to look at that. I guess I have to. My parents came in here hoping to survive. My parents came in here. Oh, so this is where his parents came in. Be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Sorry, I hate to talk, but, but damn. What's here? Family photo. Oh, we got to find the key, though, dude. Find anything? Uh, just a picture. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I uh, hear I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. <sighs> now we gotta find the key. Mm, first aid. Anything else around here? See, I don't want. To, I don't want to go back out. We gotta find a key. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Oh, it's a pair. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Yeah, it's over here. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Nothing. All right, we gotta find a dag on. We gotta find the keys, dude. Keys, keys, keys. Why wouldn't they be in here? Keys, keys. 
Let me talk to her for a second. Uh, how's your finger? Have you heard from Glenn? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Okay, now, have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna Thank keep you. looking around. Okay. Come on now, we gotta find a key. Key, 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 key. I guess it's not out here. Let's go out, out the door, I guess. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. I gotta be honest. Was he bad? He was. Got to be honest with her, because I've already let her down a couple times already, so we got to find a key. Let's see. Let's see what's going it's on here. not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. All right, we got to find a key. We got to find the keys. We got to find a key. Find a key. What's down there? Alright, another energy bar. Let's see if we can give it to Clementine. Hey there. Uh, oh, this radio. Is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? <laughs> yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. I'm going to pause it right here. Because uh, we're already at 27, almost 28 minutes. So I'm going to stop it right here. And when we come back, we will resume. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Country out. Yeah.